I'm fortunate enough to get to talk with a lot of different investors every single week. And one of the common themes that I hear from a lot of these different people is it can be very difficult to identify the right suburb to invest in in Brisbane. So in today's video, we're gonna break down some of the hot spots that we really like the look of moving forward into Brisbane's growth cycle. Sweet bro, well, let's try and keep this one nice and short and sweet and just give these people the information that they need to go out there and find the right suburb. So what are some of the commonalities that we're looking at in these different suburbs to figure out whether or not they're worth investing in? Epic question, bro. So the commonalities are extremely strong demand right now, whether you look on realestate.com, domain, or you look at the DSR scores, all of these suburbs properties are selling within two days to about seven days. So there's very, very strong heat there at the moment. They've all got very, very good average household incomes relative to property prices. They've also got a good percentage of renters as well as a very high percentage of owner occupiers living there too. Across the board, the vacancy rates are super low, man. So you and I both know that anything below 2% would be undersupplied. Most of these suburbs have vacancy rates below one and a half, even 1% in some instances. They've all got good infrastructure, good schools, and they're in the right pocket of the city that has received some price growth in the last couple of years, but hasn't gone through the absolute crazy growth that some of the inner city beaches and inner city suburbs have gone through in the last five years. Beautiful. So let's say I've gone to my mortgage broker or bank manager and they've indicated that we should be able to purchase a property somewhere between four hundred dollars to $500,000. Um, now that being significantly below the median house price, is there still opportunities available in Brizzy? Yeah, like the window of the sub 500k property close to the city of Brisbane is slowly closing, but there are a couple of suburbs in great parts of the city where you can still grab them. So on the southern side of the city, there's a suburb called Kingston, um, looks pretty good on paper, absolutely going to go through significant gentrification in the next 15 years. Um, it's sort of within that 25k range, maybe even a bit closer, very, very well connected to the Gold Coast, very close to the city, good infrastructure. Um, close to the transport and trains as well, close to hospitals and universities. I really like this area, reminds me of the south, southwestern or northwestern parts of Sydney and the sort of northeastern parts of Melbourne for those of you just to get some context. On the north side of the city, a little bit further away is the likes of your Moray Fields and Caboolture's, sort of 40 or 38 to about 45 Ks. Um, according to Domain, they've both just been listed as two of the um, top 10 suburbs in Australia to invest in in coming years. Um, both areas for a sub 500K budget have options that are reasonably priced, that are relatively low maintenance as well. Beautiful. Now, let's say if we can extend our budget a little bit further than that and we're looking for a, a nice property with a budget of say six hundred dollars to $700,000. Now, I know there's a lot of different areas in Brisbane that you can target within that budget, but what are some of the different options in maybe North or South that you like in that six dollars to $700,000 range? Brilliant, man. So on the North side of the city, there's some suburbs about 19 to 25 Ks. Um, the suburb I wanted to share today is Kalanga. Um, relative to some of the ones closer to the city, it has underperformed in the last two years, the last five and the last 10 years gentrifying like crazy at the moment. And most importantly, right next to the Petrie University mm. um, that is gonna have 10,000 students within 10 years as well. Um, Kalanga's just had two brand new train stations or one brand new plus one redeveloped train station put in. So good infrastructure again, close to the sunny coast or the city for your weekends. Um, on the south side of the city, there's a beautiful suburb called Hillcrest. Hillcrest, sorry, extremely high average incomes ridiculously low vacancy rates, massively hot for mums and dads that wanna raise their kids and live in that area at the moment. Again, both areas you can find good stock in that 600 to 700K range. Love those options. We're helping a, obviously a lot of clients purchase similar types of properties to, to that at the moment as well. But for those people that wanna go for a little bit more of a blue chip suburb, a blue chip property, maybe closer to the city or closer to the beaches with a budget of say 800 to $900,000, where would you be focusing on for those type of people? You know, this is where Brisbane's really, really different at the moment to the likes of Sydney and Melbourne. So we could buy a suburb called Woody Point, which is about 24 kilometers from the CBD of Brisbane on the Northern beaches, roughly the same distances as like a Long Reef in um, Sydney, for example, or a Cronulla Beach almost. 
Um, this type of area is so undervalued. You can get it for 25 cents in the dollar relative to Sydney right now. Um, Woody Point again has some beautiful renovations going in, some ridiculously nice houses being knocked down and rebuilt. Massive amount of gentrification is coming to that area and just up the road in Redcliffe, a train station was opened up a few years ago which finally connects those beaches to the CBD. Uh, for those of you with an 800 to 900k budget that want really, really close to the city, there's another suburb about 9k is called Capera. Um, there's a really, really expensive part of the suburb on the southern side and a more affordable part on the northern side. Train line, um, very good incomes, gentrifying like that. I don't think it's going to be, you won't get anything there shortly for under a million bucks. With those areas being a little bit more premium, high quality blue chip locations, they are experiencing some high demand at the moment and those property prices are increasing quite rapidly. So the door is slowly shutting there or quickly shutting there. Um, but then let's go to like the most premium market of Brisbane, which is the $1 million plus mark where if you've got a million dollar budget in Brisbane, you can get an absolutely beautiful home. Absolutely, bro. So I think in terms of if you're outside the city and not on the closest beaches to the CBD, a million dollars goes a long way in Brisbane right now. You can get great locations, the best school districts, very, very established mum and dad suburbs with very, very high incomes, the lowest vacancy rates in Australia right now. Um, if you're a beachside person, there's a great suburb called Brighton, 19 case in the city, very, very, very desirable area. You, you drive around and it's sort of the place that you want to live, very much like an eastern beaches of Melbourne type vibe or a Mornington Peninsula vibe. So much money moving into that area with already very high established incomes and quite good rental returns when you actually compare it to other cities in Australia. Extremely undervalued, like I've said for a long time that I could see easily how those areas could be worth a couple of million bucks in 15 years. Whether they will be or they won't be, we don't know, but it's just got that sort of feel. If you want to get very close to the city, there's some incredible suburbs. Arana Hills, Everton Hills, Fernie Hills, Fernie Grove, um, Everton Park or Stafford. These are inner city blue chip locations that are literally half a million dollars cheaper than some of their neighbours right now. Great school districts, very, very high income earners there as well. Huge potential. Amazing. So whether you've got a lower budget below $500,000 or you're looking for a beautiful premium property at that $1 million plus mark, there is so many amazing options throughout Brisbane. This is just a very small number of the suburbs that we really like the look of moving forward. Now, if you're in a position to look at purchasing an investment property in 2022, then we would love to offer you a free strategy session where we can talk about exactly where you're at right now, where you're wanting to be in the future, and we can go into more detail about some of the suburbs that may link to your short and long-term property investment goals. If you want to head over to our website, www.pumpedonproperty.com and follow the links to lock in your free strategy session, that would be great. Then you can take that information, go out there and absolutely crush it yourself, or you can be one of the very small number of people that we work with each month and we can hold your hand through that buying process. But either ways, we wish you the absolute best of luck with your investment journey. And thanks for sharing some of those suburbs, bro. Awesome, bro. Woo! That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Getting Have a spin. Cool, yeah. Oh, sweaty. So sweaty. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's so nice, eh? Oh.